Maybe I should cancel the trip to my family. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and Kakani San Chivari, also known as Ashes on a Road Trip, is a new Marathi language comedy drama that was just released on the OTT platform Sony Live. It was directed and co-written by Mangesh Yoshi and its world premiere was already last year at the Tokyo International Film Festival, which is very fitting because its light-hearted tone with a serious touch and the subject matter of a family in disarray, that's something that I have seen in a few Japanese movies as well. Ashes on a Road Trip is a lovely little independent film that has heart and humor and deals with family matters in an honest and subtle way. It has a great beginning, opening up in the back of a car in which one man lies dead and three others are sitting in front of him. There are some really funny comedic touches and it's a nice way to establish the story and characters. The dead man is Puru Dada, the oldest brother of the titular Kakani's family. And the three other men are his brothers. It is soon learned that Puru made a last wish. His ashes should be scattered in three different locations. His ancestral house, on the land he owns and in the Chandrabhaga river in Pandarpur. And only when that wish is fulfilled should his family open up the envelope he left for them. Which also gives the film a clear goal and something the audience is curious about and looking forward to. Ashes on a Road Trip then unfolds, as the title suggests, as a road movie. A subgenre in which our main character, or in this case little ensemble of characters, learn something about themselves, or have to come to terms with something and make an important decision in their lives. As you can see on the lovely poster, our road trip crew contains of the three brothers, the sister Sardana and the son of the deceased. That son, Om, played by Ame Varg, probably qualifies as our central protagonist. And his struggle is out in the open the most. At least for the audience, not so much for the characters in the car. In the beginning we learn that his girlfriend Madhuri, played by Munmani Deshpande, is pregnant. A situation that he is very much overwhelmed by. Not only does his family not know about his girlfriend, but his family also sees him as a good-for-nothing failure because he hasn't achieved much yet. His girlfriend is also tailing them on their trip on her motorcycle and throughout the movie we get several small moments with our two youngest characters. We also get a second little side journey in which the widow of Pudu, Indira, played by Vandana Gupte, has to find out the real reason why she isn't able to access their shared bank account. And the four siblings in the car also have things to find and figure out and the film does a good job laying out little clues for the audience about their own private affairs. One element that certainly connects the characters is their obvious idea that Pudo will leave them some money and that that money will help or even solve their main struggles. Which is of course a frail and deceptive hope but also very relatable. Ashes on a Road Trip is a nice little comedy drama about the problems but also the importance of family. The expectations, secrets, projections, envy, greed and backstabbing but also the similarities, memories and shared feelings. The film can be quite funny, but it always remains grounded and never sacrifices its serious core. It's basically a feel-good independent movie. The performances by all actors are really good too and there are a few nice poetic songs woven into it as well. It's not a film that will give you definitive conclusions to all its narrative threads though. It leaves some things open, yet still gives you a satisfying direction in which they might go from here. I really enjoyed how certain topics are tackled in a rather subtle manner, like traditions, generational conflicts, gender relations or emigration. And I also liked some of its visuals and visual and thematic motifs. At one point they encounter two brothers who have a car workshop and when they go back there things are quite different, not to spoil anything. At first I was quite surprised and wondered why that is in the film. But on a second thought it fits really well, because it's also about sibling rivalry and secrets and revelations. The film also beautifully bookends the journey of Ohm just through the way one character is hugging another. And since this is a road movie, it's certainly nice that it also has some nice cinematography and beautiful locations. It's not a groundbreaking or super special film in any regards and most of it feels rather familiar, but it's still handled with care and it keeps you engaged and entertained until the end. So in German I'd say, Ashes on a Road Trip ist ein wirklich unterhaltsames, kleines Roadmovie mit einer wunderbaren Mischung aus Drama und Humor, einem tollen Ensemble und einer schön subtilen Indie-Kino-Note. I give Ashes on a Road Trip 7 out of 10. 
It's more like 7.4, but I don't do that. All right, that's it. Like always, comment below and let me know what you think about Ashes on a Road Trip. And also let me know what is your favorite Indian road movie. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd and also on Patreon, simply at The Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.